Hey, this is Yoshimitsu from uh, the Disney Infinity subreddit and DisneyInfinityCodes.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to have NPCs fight in the toy box. Um, I'm going to start with the enemy generator which will require uh, five toys, two generators, and two team activators, and one switch to spawn and despawn the enemies. I'm going to use the uh, what do they call it power switch. Um, the downside here is that the NPCs or the enemies themselves will be able to activate this. So you'll see that in a second. But first thing I'm going to do is going to wire the team connection to the enemy generators. And then I'm going to wire it so when you turn this on, it spawns Rhino Guards, which are just my go-to uh, toy box enemies. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more, which this isn't necessary, but I like to uh, remove everything on the off signal so I can just get rid of the extra enemies. Also, actually, going to do one more thing, which is I'm going to wire it so when I step on this button, it assigns me to the green team. Otherwise, both these Rhino Guards are just going to start attacking me right away. Alright, so now they're here, and you have to get them to get mad at each other first, but now they're fighting. And if they press that button, they're both going to despawn, so we'll see if that happens. Oh, they look pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them. Alright, and now we'll do it for the friend generators as well. And for the friend generator, you don't actually need the team activators. It's a little bit different how this one works. Firstly, I'm going to tell it to create a Snow White, uh, just because it's at the top of the list. Four and wire it to remove them when I turn it off. And to select the teams here, you'll actually go down here into properties and then pick the team. And I'll just go with green and purple because that's what I've got over there. So yeah, purple's already mad at me, and there goes green. Alright. So that is all set, and if I spawn in some of these Rhino Guards too, they'll get involved in fun. So yeah, they're definitely fighting now. I suppose I can also do enemy wave generators. I think it'll be just the same as the enemy generator, but might as well give it a shot. Like before, gonna wire my team connection first. And just as a side note, you can't actually have two separate teams operate, operating off of one generator, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I guess it helps keep things segregated a little bit. And I'm, I think it'll generate uh, frost giants or something by default, so we'll see. Just not going to bother to configure the wave. Oh, just 
one of each, but you don't have to go to. Yeah, they should start fighting here any second. Oh, of course they attack me first. But yeah, there they go. So this should work for any number of enemies you want to set up, and any wave generator should make it really easy to have lots of them. Uh, so yeah, enjoy!